Welcome to the Mastercars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of this wonderful car. We are starting with the power units as usual. Second generation Leon has a whole set of VAG engines. Gas powered 1.2 liter TCI, 1.4 liter MPI, 1.6 liter MPI, 1.8 liter TCI, 2 liter FCI and 2 liter TFCI and diesel powered 1.6 liter TDI, 1.9 liter TDI and 2 liter TDI. All the engines are fully compatible with Volkswagen Golf 4. Engines are extremely durable and highly powered and fuel efficient. Most durable are MPI 1.4 liter and 1.6 liter engines. Low power and hot starts at low temperatures are normal to this. Low RPM vibrations are also normal. ECU reprogramming cannot help that oil can start burning at 150,000 km. FCI direct injection adds some more power. FCI engine issues can occur in variable valve timing and flex pipe. Ignition coils, metal timing chain and its tensioners do not have plenty of resource. Also intake valves quickly get contaminated with combustion products. TCI engine owners often face crankshaft position sensor failures. Timing chain could lengthen at 120 to 140,000 km. Some cars had burnt pistons at 150,000 km. Diesel sounds on gasoline engines are the sign of BVT vein failure, so timing mechanism replacement would be required. 1.8 liter engine was filled with VAC off-the-shelf technologies. One of these technologies is a new timing chain. Another chain was used in oil pump drive. TFCI engines are very powerful and fuel efficient. Anyway, they have some issues. Excessive oil burning of up to 1 liter per thousand kilometers, fragile timing chain, ignition coils and cylinders are common. Turbocharger can give boost for 150 to 200,000 kilometers of careful driving. Lots of soot gets inside the intake on direct injection cars. Minor engine electronic upsets can happen. Diesel engines were also highly estimated by owners. They were pretty efficient and powerful. First car versions can operate medium quality fuels without major problems. Use of common rail injection after 2009 made fuel requirements higher. Cylinder head cracking and failure is common to VAC diesels. DPF filter pulley stunts traffic jamming. Engine operates noisily, has poor engine mount resource and its start drive gear can be frozen. Second generation Leon was equipped with 5 and 6 speed manual gearboxes, Tiptronic auto transmission, and 6 speed DSG. Manual gearboxes start having problems after 100,000 km. Dual bearing wears out quickly and operates with a loud noise. Diesel cars can require dual mass flywheel replacement at 150,000 km. Clutch can stand more than 100,000 km of aggressive driving. Auto transmission can require valve body repairs at 150,000 km. DSG equipped Seat Leon was not popular in Russia due to bad rumors around that gearbox. So reliability picture is not quite clear. Suspension fraud arm bushings lose flexibility at 50,000 km. Torsion bar links can make it to 70 to 90,000 km. Torsion bar mounts can operate for 130 to 150,000 km and are replaced in assembly with torsion bar. Shock absorbers, ball joints and wheel bearings stand 200,000 km away. Rear suspension torsion bar mounts give up at 100 to 120,000 km. Rear camber link bushings lose damping abilities at 120 to 130,000 km. Other suspension components have 150 to 180,000 km of resource. Interior trim underlines sporty character of Leon. Trim materials are of high quality and durability. Noise insulation could be better as well as environment visibility. Electrics do not have any eros. Paint job is rigid and highly abrasive resistant. Sporty character of the car tells us that it could participate in car accidents. So be extremely attentive if you are looking to purchase one. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.